hello and hi so recently many people have asked me in instagram about blah 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 many things are and so talking about asking you need to ask acap case calibration services it provides calibration for your professional needs when you're doing photoshop or premiere pro or lightroom the screen will be calibrated 100 percent through color depending on your professional needs use this code below for a furthermore discount without further delay <laughs> so the first question is dear Oden how did you master sketching and where did you learn any architecture software such as RI by Shafiq Razali? Okay, how did I master sketching? That's a tough question but I'm Odeng Arch. I will answer it right away. So the first day that I learned to draw is when I was a little boy and then we in my sister we together drawing at the wall, sparring by the cartoon named Looney Tune something and bunny named Bugs Bunny and then Bugs Bunny climbed upstairs like very steep up he fell down so I draw also on the wall like very steep stairs and and then <laughs> the bunny drop so there was huge line, long line that resemble the stars and also the falling bugs bunny so from the day i start like love and hate draw because my father uh, scold me to erase the drawing using eraser and then afterwards when i wake up oh the wall is been painted but when i was little i don't know it was paint so the after that i developed my drawing skill to my primary school so when during my primary school and I draw mostly on square grid mathematic book why I draw it on the square mathematic book is because square books is easier to draw and then I draw more like a city underground and there are many stuff and on the upper ground there was a wall a bazooka or something and that's what I draw during my primary school so con Continue afterwards during my secondary school, during my SPM, until my SPM ah, I like to draw more like manga style or something and I always refer Gempa Stars in Malaysia. And now nowadays Gempa Star is like more like a dead comic. Ah. I don't know it's dead or still move but still going on. But when I realize it, I, I guess it's like a nostalgic thing and so I can show you my Gempa. So actually I got tons of gempak stars and this is my reference to me this is the only reference that i do refer during how i improve my sketch and i always follow their styles uh, at the time uh, and so this is the only reference that, that i do sketch during my secondary school so why i like this because all the drawings is more like uh, composite in comic style and so that's why I very like this book uh, and so during my SPM I didn't learn much I have also a file where what I draw I keep it on uh, so this is the file that uh, so this is the file that I I draw during my SPM and using the part stars as reference so you see there are much, lots of like cartoon or something there lots of pencil sketch out so I don't know much this is the things that I draw during my secondary school and my SP until my SPM I continue mastering my sketching we continue to architecture school so this is my work most of it you see there are many lots of A1 paper drawing and also afterwards after I end my architecture school degree so I continue my mastering my sketching by entering the firm that accepts sketching as a presentation so you see it's the file that so this is the file that I continue my mastering my sketch 
So as you can see, yan. until now, I keep mastering my sketch. So you see, mastering sketching is like a never ending process. In order to keep your product more better, you need to keep practice. If you want to improve, you need to keep practice. And practice makes perfect. So I advise you to all to mastering your sketching is by keep sketching. Uh, don't bother anyone else what people say about your sketch like hey, it's very ugly uh. oh why this sketch is like your sketch is like like a cross of chicken and cakayo forget what people say and just be yourself and have fun with your sketch going on to second question dear Odin where did you learn any architecture software such as I always learn by looking at YouTube uh, videos like SketchUp Essential or something. But actually, I have a guru. I have a guru named Farid Zin. You can check by in his Instagram. He got tons of. Uh, he just recently do a homestay, uh, beautiful homestay, and under the description below. Don't forget to click it and just check it out. He started teaching me the first software which is software 3D Max. 3D Max is very good tool for 3D rendering software. So from that I learned more to explore how to render and follow by SketchUp which is kind of new for me and during my internship. I learned more during my internship. So start learning going on to second question dear Oden any useful platform to learn 3D Max and SketchUp for beginners classes and online I would say that SketchUp Essential is the best platform for me you can follow SketchUp Essential on the description below and don't forget to share and subscribe him because he always update most of the video on every scope of software in SketchUp and also plug in he teach in a basic way so that's why I recommend you to follow him and do more research on what he telling you and do practice what he already teach you man. because every tips that he give is totally 100% effective and the product is me Cik. joking Second platform is for 3D Max. Right? It's very hard because I learned it from people, but I always search on the keywords of every scope like material. I want to know about material, and so I search 3D Max material something. And but there are one good video that I learned about 3D Max is you can follow Audio Blawawa Oba Adenuga. Which is rather like Pro SD rendering tutorial we replace some camera tricks for Latinx and what? So from this video and cheers, from this video, this is the favorite video of 3D Max tutorial because uh, he, he show how to render from the morning sun effect and then the evening effect and the night effect. And this is very good test because actually render and the base light is is the most crucial thing and then follow up by material and also the darkness and, but still darkness and lighting is like uh, vice versa it needs together so try explore it and, and try look into detail on the video so you can I give the link on the video and just click it to see what's related to what I'm talking right now so back to question number three dear Odin cool bro just wondering how you make the animation of your logo haha <laughs> okay so about my animation logo actually it's very simple and it consists of square and also circle shape so you can see from this video and what I do is actually just a rectangle and also circle and then I make move effect and also uh, skill effect and some and some skew effect and voila and this is the product so question number four dear Oden 
Kredit sikit siapa share teknik nak kemas Kredit a bit Who share the technique of how to clean your room So actually I want to give a special credit Special thanks to Ifan Fahmi You can follow his Instagram underneath the description below His Instagram consists of cool photo like minimalist style and an architectural photo And that's it for you guys So for those anyone who doesn't know me I'm Odek Architecture and I'm an architect practice part 1 and going to part 2 and also a journalist sort of like that lah uh, and sketcher I'm all rounded to everything and if you like to see more about this video please subscribe on the below and don't forget to click the bell notification ring for more notification on your feeds and if you like this video please press the like on the below and don't forget to share to your family friends and parents and everything and if you dislike this video you know what to do <laughs> i end this video with peace yo waho waho Wow, peace, yo. Boom, boom.